Hi everyone. In this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on why we should work on our mind daily. If you guys be blessed by this video production, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you. Every time you find wisdom, there are resources that follow it. Not just mighty works. There is treasure and there is oil to be desired in the house of the wise. That was why when the woman, the wife of the sons of the prophet came and met the prophet and said, I have nothing except. The prophet said, you said your husband was a prophet? No. If he was a prophet, it means that he had encountered the wisdom of God. If there's no treasure, check, there is oil. There has to be both treasure and oil in the house of the wise. That even if treasure finishes, when you check, there's still oil. It's impossible to have wisdom and not find treasure and oil to be desired. One of the things that was depleted in the foolish virgins was oil. Oil. And they said, go to them that sell. There are wise people who know how to. If the ones who carried extra oil are called wise, then the ones who sell them are called what? You see. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, the entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. The second level of resources you must press to have is called intellectual resources. Write it down, please. Write it down and let's make progress. The resources of knowledge, the resources of wisdom, the resources of understanding, intellectual resources intellectual resources proverbs chapter 24 please from verse 3 and 4 proverbs 24 3 and 4 intellectual resources give us this day our daily bread through wisdom my bible says amplified please amplified gives us a broader perspective as to that scripture through skillful and godly wisdom it says is a house a life a home a family built and by understanding it is established on sound and good foundation next verse it says by knowledge shall its chambers of every area be filled with all precious and pleasant riches the bible says there is treasure and oil to be desired in the dwelling of the wise there is treasure every time you find wisdom there are resources that follow it. Not just mighty works. There is treasure and there is oil to be desired in the house of the wise. That was why when the woman, the wife of the sons of the prophet came and met the prophet and said, I have nothing except. The prophet said, you said your husband was a prophet? No. If he was a prophet, it means that he had encountered the wisdom of God. If there's no treasure, check, there is oil. There has to be both treasure and oil in the house of the wise. That even if treasure finishes, when you check, there's still oil. It's impossible to have wisdom and not find treasure and oil to be desired. One of the things that was depleted in the foolish virgins was oil. Oil. And they said, go to them that sell. There are wise people who know how to. If the ones who carried extra oil are called wise, then the ones who sell them are called what? You see? Oil and treasure to be desired. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when the Bible says, give us this day our daily bread, please look up. You know that destiny actualization, like I have taught you, is knowledge dependent is wisdom dependent is understanding dependent there are forces ladies and gentlemen the bible calls them exceeding great and precious promises it says that by them you might be partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust if you do not know the way that leads to the city 
You see, the Bible says the labor of the fool wearied every one of them. Every one of the ministry, every one of the company, every individual. Because he knoweth not how to get to the city. Job chapter 38 and verse 33, NIV. Here's what God told Job. NIV please. Do you know the laws of the heavens? And can you set up God's dominion using those laws over the earth? Do you know the laws? I think NLT says about the same thing. Do you know the laws? KJV says the ordinances of heaven. Yes, I like NLT. Let's read NLT. One, two, go. Do you know the laws of the universe? It says, can you use them to regulate the earth? Regulate the earth. Can you use them and tame life like an animal? Can you use these spiritual laws and define your realities? There are laws that govern influence. There are laws that govern abundance. There are laws that control leadership. There are laws that control growth. There are laws that control sustainability of anything. Which one do you know and which one do you not know? These are the resources. When you say, give us this day our daily bread, you are saying, make available to my life, oh God, the kind of knowledge I need to be empowered for the journey. The wisdom I need to be empowered for the journey. Some of you, you're coming for koinonia. Is God answering this prayer? You have found a place of your daily bread where you receive knowledge 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 that equips you wisdom that empowers you are we together yes sir yes sir there is a way to get results you have to master the art of producing results there is a way to get results there are many women here if we say we want to cook for everyone here there are certain women who single-handedly they can cook for a thousand people and they will not make mistakes. It's called mastery. Mastery. Some of us may be able to cook for one or two people, maybe ourselves and any other person who is there. But once you say cook for a crowd, the dynamics change. There are some of you who can drive, but you can't drive a truck. You've been driving for 10 years, but if we give you a truck, you may die. What is the difference? The dynamics. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, 1 Corinthians 8 and verse 2. The Bible says that that man knoweth not as he ought to know. There is a standard in the spirit that controls any dimension of results you want. Please listen carefully. Those who have excelled in life and destiny are those who by mercy and grace in honor to their hunger have found an oasis of knowledge and they have plunged into it to their advantage. Knowledge. Knowledge. In ignorance, you are already a defeated believer. Even if Satan does not exist. In ignorance, you are already a defeated believer. My people are destroyed. Hosea 4 and verse 6. For the lack of knowledge. It says, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven. And canst thou establish the dominion upon the earth thereof. Do you understand the principles by which the heavens regulate itself? In fact, let's read verse 34 and 35. Same Job 38. I like what he says. Can you shut the clouds and make it rain? Can you shout to the clouds? KJV says, do you know the mystery that you will command the clouds and you will be drenched with abundance of water? Can you lift up your voice that there is a way you can stand as a believer, not divination, on the strength of a certain kind of knowledge, creation, elemental forces can support you. It was Job that said, you will be delivered. Or is it Proverbs now? That you will be delivered in six things. Among them, he said, the scourging tongues of men. Who would have known that the speakings of men have life? That a man can, pro can program trouble and leave you. And the trouble can be waiting there till you fall into it. 
believers are ignorant people. This is the reason why we need abundance of light. In fact, do you know the inheritance of the saints is light? What the Bible calls inheritance is not car, it's not houses, it's light. Access to a requisite body of knowledge that upgrades you to the God class. The Zoe life that we have received, you see, activating it is knowledge dependent. The degree to which you access light, quality light, high level spiritual illumination. Ephesians 4.18, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their minds. The assignment of the God of this world is not even to afflict your health, is to blind your mind so that you will not see. John 1 5 and the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John chapter 1 and verse 6 there was a man sent from God, his name was John. His assignment, verse 7 the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light of the light matthew chapter 5 and verse 14 15 and 16 ye are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill and cannot be hid it says neither do men light a candle if the candle does not have light you can throw it anywhere but the moment light comes on it there is a position that candle should not be again it is placed on a candlestick and it gives light to all who are in the house the first way to make your light so shine is to be enlightened. When you carry the light, then you can make it shine. Isaiah 60 and verse 1, amplified, arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. It says, rise to a new light. 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 A new light. Someone shout light. Listen. Are you saying that for most people, if you ask them why they are not making progress, they will say, if somebody can just help me with money. When they say, I need help, what they mean is transport, and there's nothing wrong. But I'm showing you that these are the richer spiritual resources. When he says, give us this day our daily bread. You see that? He's not just talking of a loaf of bread. For you will eat of that bread and go to the toilet hours later on, and that will be the end of it. But there is one you can have. It lasts, it stays, and it calls every other thing after its kind. Divine presence, power, back it up with wisdom, back it up with knowledge. I have taught you here, listen to my teachings. I have taught you so many things. Re get my message, the ministry of light, the journey beyond salvation, the ministry of light. I show you a journey beyond salvation, that beyond the initial salvation, there is a journey. There is a journey. John 17 and verse 3. This is life eternal. It says that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Light. I remain a student of light. He says if we walk in the light, if we walk in the light, if you choose to walk in the light, there are things that happen to your life as he is in the light. If we walk in the light, please contend for light. Get materials. You heard the testimony of the, the gentleman who came here, ignorant, bankrupt of light. Do you know that their situation would have remained the way it is till today? The value of the prophetic word was that it came to a life that was hungry for light. It wasn't only them who heard that prophetic word. They heard the word just like we did. But the word did not benefit them, not mixed with faith. I hope you know that faith is a child of light. Faith is a child of revelation. Genuine Bible faith is not a mechanical thing. In fact, it is a natural product of light. Light. Bible faith is a product of light. Bible faith, a product of light. They heard the word just like we did. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. The faith comes from light, comes from knowledge. Are we together now? If I give you an instruction and I say, stand up and come and meet me. Now, because the word has come, you can act on it. That becomes faith. But if you get up and you are coming, it's called madness, not faith. Give us this day. 
ladies and gentlemen your daily bread is the divine presence you can secure the power of the holy spirit you can secure your daily bread is also your access to high level spiritual illumination high level spiritual illumination high level spiritual illumination now when it has to do with knowledge there are two dimensions of it let me just touch on it quickly there is spiritual knowledge and then there is knowledge of the laws of the universe you need both of them there is spiritual knowledge there is knowledge of the laws of the universe many believers do you know when you went to school especially for most who are science based and who studied courses around social science psychology most of the things you went to learn are principles that relate to a number of laws that govern the universe if it's a study of the human body to make drugs and everything they operate on laws are we together spiritual laws are important but i want you to know that there are laws that regulate life there are laws for instance the law of honor the law of honor is not just a spiritual law alone the law of honor is a law that works for men animals anything at all the reward system of the kingdom for instance there are laws that govern leadership there are laws that govern influence these are not necessarily spiritual laws even though they are god's laws most people do not take out time to study these laws the law of mental transformation this is a law that the realities in your life come in honor to the quality of your belief systems i told you remember i taught you that your belief system is your contribution to your failure or your success your belief system is how you contributed to your becoming a failure or how you contributed to becoming a success so every time you fail or succeed ultimately give glory to god but the dynamics is that a part of your contribution was your belief system if you fail check well demons partnered with your belief system failure partnered with your belief system like a womb your belief system came to empower failure hallelujah listen let me challenge everyone in the name of jesus christ go for knowledge there are too many teachings go for knowledge if you take the time to listen to the teachings that have come just from january till now i'm telling you it's enough to open doors do i recap on the teachings just take a message like lessons from an overcomer sit with that message it will change your life are we together seasons of abundance deliverance from captivity the ministry of light i mean i can name them many believers are lazy God has distilled knowledge. He's taken sense from nonsense and he's brought it. All it takes is for you to calm down and study. I'm reminded of the testimony of a dear brother during, I think that was a US conference or so. Very humbling testimony. Right from jail, incarcerated under the influence of drugs and his friend gave him the teachings and this guy started listening methodically and in one year or thereabout came out of jail rehabilitated born again filled with the holy spirit own properties come on now the transforming power of light look at the other brother now he listened to a message came received a prophetic word he had that brother all the while in dubai like your destiny helper has been all the while in abuja but waiting for your knowledge to trigger things in the spirit you see, the realm of the spirit works based on a call and response system. A call and response system. There has to be a call before there is a response. And you don't call by just speaking. You call. Your mind also has a voice. It can call things. The Bible says even your mind is a prayer warrior. And that God can answer the request that your mindset gives. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you ask or think. Two ways to pray. By verbalizing it. And by the power, the excellency of your mentality, your mindset is a prayer warrior. There are things it can call to your life. Job said, the thing that I feared most has come upon me. I attracted failure by my fear, the abundance that I had. What if I lose this one day? What if I lose this one day? I hope you're learning koinonia. 
so when he says our daily bread the mystery of sufficiency happens for you when you are able to acquire the requisite knowledge wisdom knowledge understanding and i taught you the difference already that knowledge talks about a coordinated gathering of useful information but it is not profitable on its own are we together now understanding means the comprehension of those laws understanding the working dynamics how to combine knowledge so that it profits you wisdom is the grace and the fortitude to put knowledge that has been understood to work so that it produces knowledge understanding wisdom when you act on what you do not understand you only recycle seasons of pain it is knowledge, then understanding, then wisdom. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.